uh, we're here in the Pyrenees Mountains uh, in the Spanish side. Uh, but why did we come here and what was the purpose for this expedition? Well, last, last year when we did our expedition, uh, you may have seen in our last series, uh, we went to Greece and back. And some of the guys that went on that, uh, we still see on a regular basis. And some of them are still suffering bad because what happens is you get a guy to a high point and then when they return, they get back into normality and they start to slide back down again. We always tell guys to keep getting involved, but life takes over sometimes. So slowly, as uh, these tracks, it's because uh, they're pretty unknown. So we don't know what's around the next bend, and we, because we're doing a recce, some of the tracks we go end up in as dead ends. So we have to be very, very careful. Plus, we're on a cliff edge, which, which is another uh, major factor, and, and, and not driving faster. <laughs> as we were saying, uh, some of the tracks we, we drive come to a dead end. And if you look at the sat nav, I'm not sure if you can see it because of the light, probably not. On the sat nav or the navigator, this track looks as if it comes to a dead end. But what we've experienced so far is that some of the tracks may come to a dead end on the navigator, but they do continue. Uh, so we're going to just see. The whole idea of this is to go and see where the tracks go. And uh, we're just about to come theoretically to the end of the track, but we'll see if the track continues. I can't see it just coming through here and then we'll stop.
see we're on the edge here and uh, we've got quite a drop. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but it's fairly steep down there. And I'm hoping Greg is uh, on the ball with his driving today because if he's not, we're not surviving that. <laughs> come along you can see a bit of a rock fall here uh, so we're going to turn around and uh, I'll, I'll winch thing there and uh, Greg's just turned around up on the uh, up on the top there don't have a great deal of room I'll just go and see him back so it was while we were out uh, we were at the center one day and one of the guys come up and he was in a bit of a bad way so I decided we had to do another expedition this year, which was this Pyrenees expedition, which is a 16-day excursion down to the Pyrenees, going from the Atlantic down to the Mediterranean. Uh, we're, you know, it's 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 important that we we continue the journey for these guys. It's uh, it's not a, just a one stop. Just come and uh, everything's okay, and then they go off and they do their own thing. There has to be some continuation whether that be involved in some of the projects we do at the centre or whether that's going on another expedition so this expedition was different for us in, in many ways as in very hard for us as a team because normally we kind of plan to the nth degree that doesn't mean you get all your plans right but we plan all the time and uh, so this one was different for us where I didn't really make a set plan uh, what I wanted to do was get down into the Pyrenees and then find a way around and make up our own thing. just stopped in a little town called Burarera. I'm not really sure how that's to say it. It's B-U-R-R-U-E-R-A. Burarera. Probably, class, we just can say that, Burarera. Not really. Burarera. Burarera. <laughs> and it's just a lovely little place, very alpine. Nice little church there. Just come through the valley, coming through here. And look at the buildings. Just, just really, really quaint and uh, just the, the look after the place, absolutely fantastic. So the, the track we're on now, again,
people are just making their way up now. I'm going to turn around in that turning area so we can go back into that track in the front of it. turned round now and then it's a case of driving down that track there so I just look at, look at this view here the other guys there Mark and Mo beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. we've just had uh, some lunch down in the village just down below Baruera I think it's called lovely little village this is obviously a very busy place in the summer because there's lots and lots of cafes and restaurants but what a beautiful place. And here's Greg coming to join us as well. To the task individuals that were coming on the expedition, who were known to us and had been on expeditions before, I wanted to task them with certain jobs that, uh, so some of them mechanics, navigation, uh, comms, uh, kind of cooking, all the different aspects of running an expedition. Uh, there's lots of little elements that make up the expedition. And that's what I wanted to do with this one, so they had some purpose within the expedition rather than be just a passenger. It's okay to be a passenger on the first one while you're bedding in, but I think uh, coming out again, <laughs> you have to have a purpose to be on the expedition, as in you have a, an individual has an input into what happens. And that's what pretty well on this one, I have to say. Uh, there's been lots of elements we've done in this one that have we've learned from past mistakes uh, or past learnings that you get on any expedition. I think that's been really, really important to the makeup of this expedition, that whatever we do in the past, we, we take the learnings from it and we start to impl implement them into whatever we do next. We're still climbing on the same track. Uh, we're stopping it regular so we, the vehicles don't overheat because it's just continuous climb. As you can see, we've still got a bit to go. Uh, it's just endless. But how good is I mean, it's just breathtaking, isn't it? I can see another track over there in the hill over there. So there's an endless amount of tracks around this area. I can see... Uh, just where the uh, scree is, there's a slight track. I can actually see that going over to the next hill as well, all the way. And I can actually see where the track comes down as well. So that might be something to wreck for the future. And that's a drop. So I hope Mark is steady on the accelerator here because uh, we're getting right up to the top of this. So we're getting even higher and higher and higher.
this is probably one of the, I would say, the toughest tracks we've done it. As in, uh, we've got a shear drop just to Jason's right. Shear drop down there. The track is not the best, but still good. Uh, there's a little bit of cross section here on the track, which is quite technical. You just need to take it steady over there. We're just crawling down this hill just to keep safety going. And here's a bit here. It's just a little bit technical here, as in because of the drop we have. We just need to keep it nice and steady going down. Little trickle of the accelerator gets you over. Pass again. You can see the front vehicle, a little slide there. Just to be nice and steady. That, that's the worst bit. Once we get past this, it's fine. And on the defender here, as it's a boat, uh, we need to be very careful. And that's it. That's the worst bit of the track. The rest here is nice driving. Uh, there was just this one technical bit to the end. It's the top of a kind of a landslip quarry type thing. But look at the drop here. I know the camera's shaking about a bit. That's not my fear, honestly. That's yeah. just the bumps. So a nice and steady drive down, and it'll be good. Have a stunning drive up. Again, another one will come up, it's a dead end, but I'll come up here again, no problem. Conditions need to be right. I'll maybe not come up as far as this. Maybe stop at the turning point just below, because uh, that was a good drive up to there. This bit, for the faint-hearted, uh, isn't the best, I don't think, because it is sheer. Especially when it's a year to the day. Yes, uh, yeah. that is. Yeah, I never even thought of that. It's a year to the day to we uh, rolled a vehicle. Uh, down a hill in Great uh, in Bosnia, sorry. So obviously some of the guys that's here were on that trip, so that's quite poignant in their minds. Uh, so it's all about taking it nice and steady. Uh, speed was a, a, a kind of a factor last year, uh, too confident. This time we're taking things uh, very calmly and kind of methodical. And we are spotting each other around any difficult parts. So I've now got a lot of switchbacks coming up. Uh, again, this is all about wheel placement, uh, cutting into the corners, not taking it too wide. So as soon as you get past the corner, you cut in, as Jace is doing now. That keeps you nice and steady on the track. But if we have to move over, we have to reverse, we reverse. But as you can see there, nicely round. Quite a tight corner, that one. Especially for Defender. Yeah, the Defender's like, it rocks a lot more than the discos. Yeah, it's got a small, uh, and sm a smaller, uh, kind of, uh, what do you call it? Turning circle. circle yeah. uh, it's, it, it's not got a great turning circle at all. So again, it's always about, what's, what's Chase here, how he does it? Goes wide, then cuts into the corner. So taking the corner tight, I'll just show you exactly where our wheels are going. Tight, and you can hear we're right in the, the limit of our turning circle there. But that's how we do it. We it's always go wide and cut into the corner at all times. That way you'll get round. If you try to take the corner wind, wide you'll never get round. You see the vehicles in front is they they're actually more manoeuvrable than the disc S and the defender here, so they can get around the corners a lot easier. I'll show you again with Jason's line wide and then cut in right now. There you go and easily round the corner, easily round. So those that's not done tracks as before, that's how you do them basically. Uh, you know, this is not an instructional video of any chance and I'm sure there'll be people out there who will tell us different. 
but again, you can see the disc in front. He's taken a wide. This is a tight one. This one. This is a this is a really tight one. So he may have to reverse there. We'll see if the defender can ground, but it is a tight, tight corner. But they made that easily. So Jason, you see, he's come in, and then he's got out, and then he's going to turn in now. Turn in now. Uh, just take that off a little bit, Jace. And then you can see, I think we'll get around here, I think we'll get around. So on the way up, we never made that in one go, but there you go. It's just about knowing the corner and choosing your line right. Every corner's different, you've got to treat them all differently. The main thing is to be in control of the vehicle at all time. Just tickle the revs and touch the brake lightly. No uh, extreme kind of acceleration or braking. And there we go, we've got to a good bit now. We're coming to a bit now where we, it's a turn, it's a very, very tight uh, corner. We can't take that. So we may have showed you that on the way up. But what you've got to do is work around to a turning circle. You can just see the track to my left there, which is obviously too tight to turn around. So we've got into the turning circle, and we'll turn the vehicle around up here. You see the discos are just there waiting, and uh, then we'll follow them down. It's a great little spot, this. The whole idea is to, to get to a place and just discover what you discover. We could follow a route plan that other people have done. That's not an expedition, that's a tour. And we like to get out there and find our way around and try things. We've had some, some tremendous tracks that I hope you'll see in a lot of the footage that we do. Uh, and hopefully others will come and take part in these in the future. I decided to film this whole track. Uh, Jace, it's been an exceptional track and you never yes. drove up, but you're doing the driving down, and it's actually technically harder to drive down than it is to drive up uh, because of the braking.